Hello and welcome to Bell Curve Gaming. We have a new Vicar Vault in town. It's time to really see what he can do. The last time I played this uh, Charger Bug Vicar Vault kind of deck, we were using this guy back in the days of Unbroken Bonds and it was actually quite a blast to play. I remember, I was looking back at the video actually, um, I remember it was when I was going through that phase of, you know, doing a budget build and then like, you know, more of a baller sort of build, like a more expensive build. Um, I was going to make that a thing, but I just never ended up doing it. But we have this guy here, which has the potential to blow up even higher numbers um, with the powerful storm here. So three NGs, one of them's going to be lightning, does 60 base, then 20 damage for each NG attached to all of your Pokemon. That's something that's really, really important here. It's any kind of energy and to any Pokemon that we've got into play. So obviously if we're paying for this attack, that's going to be an extra 60. So it's hitting for 120 base and then we're building numbers from there. But how are we building all the energies up? Well, that's the Charger Bug. So the Charger Bug has the battery ability, which just allows us to whack it, like use it basically as an energy onto our Vicar Volts. And it provides two lightning energy at a time. But the best thing about this is it doesn't actually pay like count as an NG attachment for turn. So we can potentially get up to four of these, which is eight energies and 160 damage on top of our 60 base all in one turn plus our energy attachment, which we can use things such as our triple accelerations for an extra three NGs, our capture NG for one, I'll get onto that, and twin NG for a couple. So we got plenty of ways that we can actually really ramp up the damage super quickly. And we haven't even mentioned that we're a lightning Pokemon, so we also have electro powers. So the numbers can build up quite big, quite quickly. So yeah, I, I remember having an absolute blast with this um, you know, back in the days of playing Unbroken Bonds. And it's time to see what this guy can do and see what numbers that he can actually build up to. So uh, we've gone with uh, the Jirachis for consistency because we're a stage two and we've got to get going as quickly as we can. We've also added a Dead A in here just so we can burn through our deck and find um, pieces that we need. Um, we've obviously got the four electro power. We've got plenty of Pokemon search and lure balls as well because we want to go and get those evolutions back because these are our energies um, as well as, you know, they can go and get Vic Volts back as well. We've got a couple of Ordinary Rod. We need to use one of them at some stage to shuffle a couple of Grubbins back um, just so we can use our Lure Balls really to get our evolutions, but just to get a couple of Grubbins back so we're potentially getting up to six attackers throughout the game. So that's the reason why I've got two of these just in case we prize one or we need to, you know, discard one at some stage with a Quick Ball or, a, you know, a Research or something like that. Um, we've got a couple here that we can search and find. Uh, we've got four switching options just to get out of our Jirachi, so two board, two switch. Um, four rare candies because we're ideally wanting to skip the middle evolution. You will see me use the middle evolution here and there, potentially anyway, because um, I'm about to get into the games live. Uh, just because we need to, like, we can't afford to just sit and wait for rare candies, um, and we may need to manually evolve just one of them here and there. So that's the list. Let's uh, let's see how this thing performs. I've played a few games already. Um, when it goes off, it's an absolute blast. It's obviously a stage two deck. Um, it has stage two difficulties. <laughs> you know, just trying to get all the pieces that we're trying to get together um, to combo to build those big numbers. Um, yeah, it can be a little bit iffy at times. So I tend to like to go first with this deck. Uh, this is a reasonable starting hand. We're running captures rather than lightning NGs. So I thought about running lightning NGs because it's any NG to all your Pokemon. Lightning NGs together with uh, the uh, Tapu Koko to try and even burst even more NGs into play. Um, I just found that a little bit awkward to be honest. Um, and besides, the capture NGs allow you to get more Grubbins into play and we need as much Pokemon search as we physically possibly can get. So that's the reason why we go and capture NGs at the moment. But yeah, this is a decent um, first starting hand. We need a draw supporter. The one thing I don't like I'm still up in the air about whether I like Professor's Research in, like, Evolution decks in general. But I've had some really awkward... So this is a really good Research hand, but I've had some really awkward hands where uh, Research just feels so bad. Uh, what do we want here? Uh, it's hard. Candy could be absolutely nuts, but it could be terrible as well. Evolution Incense... 
These are actually no, no cards. Because I've got research sitting in hand, it's really difficult to decide whether or not I want to... Like, I could really gamble, take candy, and just go, you know what, Jirachi's going to just nail me a... Mm, I think we actually just whiff. Yeah, we'll just whiff for the moment. I think I might use this charge bug that I've got sitting in hand just to manually evolve one of these. And if I land the candy um, Vicavolt combo, hopefully we'll have an NG. Like, do I mainly evolve this guy or this guy? No, I reckon I mainly evolve this guy because if I miss the NG, I can swing into uh, this Grubbin or Electrical Signal. That seems good. So I reckon that's the plan. But yeah, I'm really iffy about this supporter still, the Professor's Research, because it feels terrible when you've got cards that you desperately need. So for example, I started um, with one particular hand where I had a solo Jirachi, no Pokemon search whatsoever. I had all four candies and a Professor's Research. Jirachi didn't pull me anything, any kind of draw supporter like Shuffle Search or anything like that. And I just can't afford to research away four candies. Like, that's just basically, hey, I lose the game. Um, so, yeah, I'm really... I know that's an unlikely situation to happen, having four candies at once, but it's... It's a feel-good card and a feel-bad card, just in different circumstances. So, I, I'm really on the fence about how I feel about Professor's Research in an Evolution deck. It's the reason why I'm only running it as a two-of here rather than going higher. So yeah, I, I think we manually evolved this one. We... Uh, just Electro Power because you never know what we get. We're not... We're going to chuck this in the bin. Uh, that's okay because we've got Lure Balls and stuff to go and get it back later. I mean, it's not great, but it's okay. So we can't really attack here. Oh no, we've got Dead A. Eh? So we've got Stellar Wish, Candy. Yeah, we could get an attack off here actually. This could be good. Yeah, so we'll grab Candy. Candy this Grubbin. Straight to a Vicar Vault. We'll chuck the Twin onto the Charger Bug here because the only way that we're attacking is if we land a Stadium. This is really bad. Getting rid of both Ordinary Rods. Uh, well. Do we have anything we want back? Charger Bug? Yeah, we do actually want that back. Although that means if I bring this back... Oh, I have to now. It's going to say Lure Balls don't provide me an out anymore. Oh, well. Gives me more chance to draw one. Lure Ball. I knew it. I knew it. Mm. Punished for that. I shouldn't have Ordinary Rod. I should have just gotten rid of it. Ouch, that hurts. Uh, do we go into the Vicar Vault so this can't KO me as a one-shot? What's it hitting? 110? I mean, this could easily KO me. Do we go to Dead A? Because I can switch out of the Dead A later. This is going to have a one-shot. This one-shots me, one-shots me. Can't believe I missed all charge bugs. So I had three charge bugs sitting in deck. I should not have ordinary rotted. That was my mistake. Should have left that there because it provided me lure ball outs. I wish you could like cancel a play like that. Because you haven't actually pulled out anything like put anything back into the deck that you're forced to do so it just feels bad third ng onto here could be running over a treat play but he's got to have the candy to get the ko here if he doesn't have that i'll probably switch back to jirachi so you can get a hit off of 110 Gonna boss as orders me. Gonna get into the dead eye. Alright. 
I did half consider actually going to Dede and just taking a hit here. Because if he's going to boss his orders, you would normally assume that he's going to do it when he's got the KO on the Dede. Oh, wow. That's a terrible turn. Why is he going to himself? That feels weird. Um... We'll go and quick boom. I don't want to play Marnie here. Keeping Marnie in the deck. Nah, we'll get rid of the Marnie. Get a Grubbin out. Twin NG onto the Grubbin. Cynthia. Let's see whether we can find these Charger Bucks. We also had a stadium that we could have hit, which would have been really nice. Uh, well, great book. What am I finding here? Yeah, we'll Great Ball first because we want, I think, Vikavot. Because we've got the Charge Bug. We only need the one Charge Bug, so that's fine. So we'll grab Vikavot because this could find me candy. Do I want a Quick Ball first? Probably not. Uh, we'll just grab Evo. So we'll chuck this down, fully evolve it. And for the moment. We'll charge a bug, battery to you, and just start hitting in. I just want to keep these. And besides, I feel like we've got the advantage at the moment, so we don't need to be super panicked about rushing anymore. There's a lot of matchups where you've got to just take chances and rush. I feel like we've got a pretty good lead here, and he didn't have supporters before. He's got Jirachi. Could combo quite a lot off the Jirachi. But he's only hitting him for one prize. He's already used a boss's orders. So defensively, trying to lock me into a Dede. I didn't check to see whether the fourth Grubbin was actually in deck. Koga's trap's annoying. We do have switches, or well, one switch left. Yeah, he's gonna run a Koga's, so this is now a very defensive action again. We've got the twin to get out of this, so that's fine. So I think we run a capture NG onto this guy. We can retreat with just the twin, I'm pretty sure. So capture NG onto this guy. Pull out the Grubbin, so we do have that. Awesome. Uh, we will... Do we want a Marnie here? Do I want access to these cards? Possibly the Vicar Vault, but the Evo... Mm. Well, Marnie... So we got ourselves a Candy. We will run a retreat to... Oh, hang on. We don't actually have a... Hmm, I need a battery. That was some bad plays. Oh well, never punished. <laughs> ah, Thunder Mountain's good. So we'll run the retreat this time. Ah, oh, it's a Reshazard deck. Just a very slow starting. Or maybe it's a bit of mixed bits and pieces. I was going to say, why would you run Kogas in Reshazar? But I have seen Kogas before. It's another defensive boss's orders. That's actually a difficult one for us to... I think we'll chuck the Thunder Mountain down. And Cynthia. I want to keep E powers. Candy, Evo, Incense. Do we have. No, we don't. So we don't have enough just at the moment. I think we hold the Evo, Incense. We just let him get the KO here. Well done on the defensive work there. We lose a Grub, and that's bad because we've lost two Ordinary Rods. So we've only got three attackers left for the game. 
which is a bit concerning. Given though it was defensive, I don't think he had draw support. And that's two bosses orders gone, like, how many bosses orders is he going to be running? Oh, he's trying to lock me. That could backfire. Alright, well, Candy. So we need to hit Charger Bug or an Energy. Or a way into Charger Bug. So we'll grab the Vicar Vault here. So he's not in the greatest spots. We are going to get rid of the Jirachi to thin. Um, oops. Go away. Thank you. Uh, we want Charger Bug. I mean, we can retreat if we have to. With the Charger Bug. So we'll Cynthia now. I'd rather not retreat. And I don't have to. Excellent. Uh, we'll keep the Great Ball for the moment. Oh, that's going to annoy me now. How did that end up over here? <laughs> uh, battery. To you. And Powerful Swamp. Smack you up. Oh, actually, I didn't have to battery to you. I had Thunder Mountain down. Oh, well. I think it's a misplace here. But we're in a very comfortable position, so... We've got lure balls to go and chase these guys back. Has to stamp me or something here. Wow, that doesn't even do much. How much are we doing? 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 260 <laughs> plus our 60. I actually don't have to do a thing. Boom. <laughs> well, unfortunately our opponent bricks, so let's see if we can get a better game than that. But you can see that how those numbers can really ramp up. Like, I didn't even have to search for more energy attachments. Didn't use any, any like, damage enhancers. And it just hit for a lazy 320 damage. <laughs> I think the unbroken uh, Bonds Vicavolt has been outclassed. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can play that a little bit better. <laughs> Lots of misplays and was just not punished at all. All right, Grubbin. Okay, so this is not a good starting ham. And like, this is where you need Cynthia, because we've got resource we can't really afford to throw away. I mean, this isn't the worst to throw away if we had to research. Um, we've got a do-nothing hand. Awesome. Trying to think what this could be. I mean, we are running risk. If he's got Welder, we lose. <laughs> just KO the Grubbin. That's what I love about this new format, where you can just lose without really being able to do a thing. Alright, so no Welder. No Supporter, actually. So, Charger Bug, I feel like, is a really bad play. Do I... The question is, do I research this and just start again? So, I lose a Ordinary Rod. I've only got one left for the game. I lose a Lure Ball, but I've got three of them left. But I am throwing a Charger Bug and Vicar Vault away in the process. I think we research. I just don't know what I'm up against yet, so... 
I need to be a little bit more aggressive. Um, I can't afford to throw away too many more resources. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab... A, not a Grubbin, a Jirachi. We're going to run a bit of a switch play. Kind of wishing I evolved this Grubbin now. We could grab the candy and get straight to a Vicavolt. That seems good. So that's, you know, one job done. Got Lure Ball, which is really good as well. So we'll candy to the Vicavolt. So the Lure Ball is really good because we can get the charge back back. Uh, we wouldn't have been able to attack this turn anyway, so throwing away the switch didn't matter. So we've only got our boards left to be able to get out of the Jirachi. So it's not Cataday because it's running energies. Oh, I'm trying to think what your full evolution does. I do know what your evolution does. Oh, that's nuts. He's got the Salazzle Roast Reveal with the Giant Hearth in play. I've only got one counter stadium and I probably need to counter... I can't afford to probably counter the Giant Hearth. Which feels bad. There's the Welder, so this Jirachi's gone. Got more Jirachis, that's okay. Just saves having to find a board next turn. No, maybe not the Jirachi gone. <laughs> that's an interesting place to Welder. Oh, I suppose Weldering here wouldn't have mattered. Um, this turn, at least. So you're gonna literally use a Slazzle as an attacker. I mean, it gets, gives me the opportunity to get rid of some of his drawer if he does. I wouldn't mind him retreating to the Salazzle. This will be an NG fetch deck. I reckon. All right, so I have to find, at least I'm not burned. Um, I have to find a few things here. Should we lure ball to begin with? I think we should. Is this a good lure ball or should I save it for later? Evo Incense can get me charged up. So as long as I get a way to retreat, I've got the attack off here. But Evo Incense could be good to keep in deck for later. So we'll lure ball. Grab these two. It's filling my deck up, which is bad when I need to find more setup pieces. And I need to find that board. Ooh, um, triple goes, I reckon. Yeah, triple goes. Uh, we go and get ourselves. We may need Dead A. So let's hold that quick ball because we may need that Dead A. If I don't find a way out of this, we need Dead A. We need Dead A, so I don't want to bring that back, I don't think, because I've got two lure balls already in the bin. Yeah, so we're going to we're gonna whiff on that. We have to Dead A change here, which feels bad, but got to do what we got to do. So Dead A change. Mmm, we don't have a way out. That's unfortunate. We're just going to have to hope we can blow up later. we got plenty of charger bugs. Do I want to manually evolve one? Or do I want to potentially have like a massive turn next turn? At least I'm okay on the way back, thankfully. I've got an attack for next turn. I could be punished if he's got boss's orders. And he's got a draw engine, so he could easily boss's orders in this. Hmm. I mean, ultimately, I've only got four candies. Maybe I should have... I should have whacked a Charger Bug down. 
can do that next turn. Because I'm going to have to manually evolve through two of them. At some point. Do I have enough recovery left? Two lure balls. One ordinary rod. I'm going to be pretty tight on recovery. Like, I'm just looking at this going, is he going to run any two prize Pokemon? Because Charizards are really bad for me. There's the Heat Factory, so that's the one I now need to get rid of. I need to find my stadium now. He has the KO with just a Toric app, which makes me sad. So he can sit back and wait until he gets his Charizard. I would not mind top decking a Marnie. Would love a top deck Marnie right now. I don't have any draw at all. So this has to KO the Tyro Cat. I'm assuming that this is going to get KO'd on the way back. So I think we're going to have to manly evolve. Yeah, we're just going to have to manly evolve here. We got no choice. So we'll evolve. Because we are completely bricked. I think we're also going to have to drop the E power. Go and get ourselves a Jirachi down. So that way we can flip into Jirachi on the next turn. Uh, we can't do a whole lot more this turn. Play that. Uh, just powerful storm will do. I have to assume with so much draw that the Charizard's just coming. Which will one shot this easy. We're well and truly behind just a minute. Interesting that Slazzle came out. Is he not running candies? I mean, you're running that many stage twos. How are you not running candies? You've got that much draw now, it's actually insane. And Slazzle's not going to get a one-shot, so... I mean, it's fine by me if you want to do it that way. Gives me more time. I need my Barneys, and I need my Stadium. You basically literally get to having his entire deck in his hand. Ah, uh, we'll pick up. Just go with a powerful storm at the minute. I need a good top deck or capture energy will do, I guess, but. Could have been worse, could have been better. Not sure if the other Grubbin's in deck. There's the Zard. So we're winning on the prize card race, but that's about it. <laughs> uh... Well done. I mean, what's getting the one shot on the next turn though? I feel like there's not a lot getting a one shot next turn. I really feel like there's a lack of one shots coming next turn. Uh, okay. If he's running candies, he can go straight to a Zard. I need to find candies as well. I mean, I could play safe for the KO and chuck Vikavolt down and stay ahead of the prize card race, but I need, like, I need to find some draw. Okay, so that helps. Uh, we'll capture NG. Go and get the Grubbin. Let's have a look what's in here. We've got one candy left. 
only Vicar Vault we've got is in hand. We have two lure balls. We're gonna have to manually evolve through a charge bug again, I feel. But that time is not now. We need to charge a bug battery. Uh, we need to save the ordinary rod one more. How many grubbins do we have? So four prizes, one, two, three. We need one more. So the ordinary rod can go and pull in a grub and Vicar Vault. Do I want to do that before Armani? I mean, I'm not going to be able to do it after Armani. I'm not going to... Yeah, oh, I could run into them, couldn't I? I need the boards, and that's what's most important here. So we're going to Marnie. Alright, so... If we lure ball, we can go and get back a charger bug. I need to know what this is going to get. Let's great ball first. That misses, all right. It shuffles my deck, which is really, really good. Stella Wish, Candy, that could be good. Boards, what we need though. That's something we desperately need. All right, so we've got the board. I think right now we manually evolve our charger bug. It's because we're running low on candies. We can run this a little bit later. Retreat to the Vicar Vault. Uh, we have enough on board, don't we? Four, five, yeah, that's enough, cool. Didn't get rid of the Heat Factory, which makes me sad. We got a second candy. May mean that manly evolved charge bug wasn't needed, but well, we've got two candies now, so no, it's not needed anymore. Got a capture energy to go and get that grubbin out of the deck. The deck's getting small, which makes things a little bit easier to find things too. And he's manually evolving. Does he not run any candies? I mean, if he doesn't get a KO here, he's going to be that far behind. Add some candies to your deck. You desperately need candies. Especially when, like, Charizard's the only legitimate attacker that I'm worried about in your deck. Uh, this feels like, honestly, it feels like I'm playing against a theme deck right now. Alright, I'm that comfy. Oh, I don't, I haven't put back the, um, yeah, okay, that's fine. I haven't put that back yet. Do I want the lure balls? Not really this turn, we'll just Cynthia. I need the ordinary rod if I want to do that, there we go. I mean, they're playing stadium, so it's clearly not a... Probably not a theme deck. Uh, I'll grab both of these for the moment. And yeah, we don't need to do anything more. Powerful Storm. So I feel like we're that far in front now. So you could have the Charizard to one-shot me. He's lost all his draw power in one turn. How many fire engines had he burnt through? Six. It's got ten. We'll have one more game after this. I want to play like a big HP GX deck to put it through its paces. Oh yeah, that does bench damage, doesn't it? 
That's a thing. <laughs> Alright. So, there's our Vicar Vault that we need. Awesome. Lure Bowl. Probably what we want here. Just A heads will do it. I only got A singular heads. Will and <laughs> just A heads do it? One, two, four. Is four enough? I actually don't know. Battery. I mean, it is because I can hit for 170. So, yeah, that's fine. Uh, do we have any... Stuff it, we'll Cynthia. Just get a bigger hand, so that way our Jirachi can go and find basically whatever we need it to. Uh, we'll quickly go and get our Vicar Vault. We need a Lure Ball, which we do have. Excellent. Candy. Vicar Vault. Got two charge bugs in here, so I think we'll go for them right now. Lure ball them. We get two of them back. Awesome. Running at 50% on these coin flips. Alright, battery to you. Yeah. We're home. It did feel very theme deckish though. I that deck only ran one one card that you were sort of going, hmm, that can one-shot me pretty easily. And there was like no candies. Where was the candies? He needs to like, he's running that many stage twos. Where were the candies? All right. Venomos, welcome. We'll go first. Potentially hitting my weakness, it's a bit sad. I'm assuming this is weak to, yeah, yeah, fighting. Uh, we're going first, so we should have just chucked it down. Didn't matter. Oh, I can chuck it down here anyway. Alright, so we've got this big behemoth. We got what we wanted. I did ask for it. For like a big, big, heavy HP Pokemon. So we've now got a massive stone wall in front of us. Care for what you wish for? I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, Indie V. Alright, um, what do we want here? Go and get a grubbin' down. We've got the candy straight to a Vicar Vault, which feels real nice. Uh, we could go double candy into double Vicar Vault, which is the best option of what we have. So yeah, we'll grab that. We'd hate to be Marnied. Please don't Marnie me. <laughs> Marnie would be the absolute worst right now. Do not Marnie me. You're going like massively overkill with the Martial Arts Dojo here. You're hitting weakness already. <laughs> Great catcher. Don't mind seeing that hitting the bin because the dead A is just a really easy pick off at any point with these big wolves. Alright, gonna put the big wall right in front of me. Probably gonna guard press. Luckily it's not hitting weakness right now. <laughs> What's the guard press do? Takes 20 less damage. Okay. So I'm going to need a big heavy attack to get him. This is a nice starting hand. Not going to lie. All I need now is just a ton of energies. The only thing that was missing from that starting hand, honestly, was energy cards. Because I can ramp up a lot, like, pretty quickly. But, yeah, I'm not going to ramp up quickly, uh, quickly enough here. We could still get a fair old hit in though. Stellar Wish. I mean, Evo Incense as well. I mean, that's four, five, six, seven, 140, 200, less the 20. We're gonna get one shot on the way back, aren't we? Probably. I mean, how much does that add? 10, Deancey. We've got to assume Deancey comes, so that's 70, 140. Let's make him have the extra 10 damage. Force him to have it. Put him under pressure. 
Do we have draw for next turn? We don't. I'm not going to grab that. I'm going to grab Marnie. Yeah. All right. We're going to charge a bug. Battery to you. We're going to just run a little retreat play. Chuck the triple onto you. And do we want a thunder? No, 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 no. We want to force him to have everything. So it's a powerful storm here. I know that thunder jolt beam is more damage. But I want to force him to have to have everything. He's got 40 heal. So he's still in thunder jolt beam's range next turn. Unless he evolves, obviously. This will probably go and get dead, eh? Judging from that play. Not Deancey. So, by memory, what was that? That just adds 20, doesn't it? So 60, 70, it doesn't get me. Which is what's key here. That's the reason why we didn't. But if it stops me from Thunderbolt jam it, um, beaming. Thunder jolt beaming. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, a Thunder Jolt Beam is actually really, really good. Marnie is so bad here. So we're going to Dead A. Gets rid of really important resources. Plus, it puts an easy pick off. But keeping him Brit, this could just be game. Right here. All right. Let's have a look. Do we have Dead A first? We do. What do we need to get the KO? We need... Like, is one energy enough? If I only hit one energy, is that going to be good enough? 30... Uh, so 60, 120, minus the 20 is 100. No, it's not. I feel like Dead A is the right thing though. It's a huge risk to Dead A change here. So we get the double NG, which is great. We'll chuck this down. Ordinary robots in there, nothing. So we can switch and board. I say switch and Jirachi if we want. Which I think is probably good here. We'll grab the charger bug. So we've got the battery to the Vicar Vault. We will switch. Haven't found any NG cards yet. Oh no, I did have one before. Uh, Marnie just feels so bad. It really does. We'll go this way. We don't want a Marnie. And we just want to Powerful Storm. I think it does just enough. Yep, good. I did do all the maths correctly. But like, this puts a lot of pressure on now. He could just top deck another um, Storm Jenner and just KO me straight away. That's something that we could see here. Oh, are you kidding me? Top decks, research, just like that. He's just got it like that. <laughs> now I've got a dead A just sitting here for him to pick off at some point. Oh, I can't believe he just had it like that. Just casual. Oh, yeah, I've I've just got a... Uh... Mallow and Lana coming. A casual research. I mean, I'm mining on this turn, so that would get rid of it. What do I need to get him? So, I need to get 220. If I hit double, that can get six energies through the charger bugs on this turn. So, there's potential play of six charger bug energies. I think I need to see what lure ball gets me first. That has to be the first play, so I know. But what does 6 do for me? It's 120 plus the 60, 180. It doesn't get me there. 
because it's 160. So I need three NG. So either triple acceleration, we'll chuck a lure ball. See if I get the two heads first. I do. Okay. I think we have to go for it, don't we? We have to go for this. There's no other choice but to go for this. So we got a battery. Battery. I kind of want to see. So triple acceleration, charger bug gets me there. Kind of want to see if this gets me a candy. E powers, they could get me there. We're going all in on this. So I'm up to six. It's up 180, 210, it's 190. I need an electro power or some kind of double energy. Ordinary Rob, we don't want anything else back in the deck. These will go to the bottom so we can keep that. There it is. Six, seven, eight, 160, 220, plus the extra 30. I'm there. Just. Just. All right. I think we quick ball first to shuffle the deck. Because I know I've got a Vicar Vault sitting at the bottom. So we'll grab this Grubbin. We'll then Great Ball. Nah, no Vicar Vault. We'll grab that out of the deck though. That seems fine. We'll twin energy to you. We'll retreat to the Vicar Vault. And we'll Powerful Storm. Just enough. I mean, I'm in easy one-shot range. That's the only downside of going all in on this guy. We're going to have to get another energy. We're going to have to get a... Do we have boss's orders? No, we've had to ditch that. Mm. I need one more KO somewhere on a two prizer. Oh, we've done it. We've done it. We've got him. <laughs> I mean, that is a huge wall to get over. Especially if it like gets to a Stonjona VMAX. Like that's the reason you can see how hard those numbers were to reach when it was just the Stonjona V. Like we had to, with so much healing in the deck as well, we had to really work to um to get those KOs as quickly as you can. So had to take some chances to get there. But yeah, that is the deck. It's an absolute like blast to play it can bring up some massive numbers i'll bring it up here once this thing <laughs> finishes mucking around but it's, yeah an update to the vicar vault we've got a new vicar vault in town hurry up game thank you <laughs> uh, deck manager so let's bring up the list just so we can uh have a look at it one more time um, the Dead A is just absolutely necessary. I wanted to try and build it without Dead A because I like trying to build my list as cheaply as possible. Um, but the Dead A is definitely absolutely necessary. You need to dig through the deck and get the piece that you need, especially when you need to go a lot quicker. So you can see in that last matchup against the Stonjourner, Stonjourner? I actually don't know what that big wall's called. I just call it the big wall. Um, <laughs> When you um, come up against a deck like that, you have to move super, super fast if you're going to um, topple it over quick enough and you can get the numbers that you need um, quite nicely with it. So, yeah, I hope you liked the video and if you did like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in the next one.